Fisher's caught these guys yesterday. Today is the first annual Shallow Sport Owners Tournament in Florida, down here at Bud and Mary's. This is a fun event with 20 different species we can fish for. The first scoop toy fan we have. It's a lucky three. Those could be the ones that do the trick. Good luck, guys. We are heading out for the Shallow Sport Owners Tournament, the first one they've ever done here in Florida. The Texas one is huge with like 250 boats. Um, but this is the first we've ever done it down here in Florida and at Bud and Mary's. So it's a pretty cool event. We're excited. We got it going on in the barn here at Bud and Mary's. A couple days ago, they did a dealer demo. So they had, I think, 10 different boats at Worldwide Sportsman, which is the best pro shops in town here. And they were offering sea trials to different uh, customers and dealerships to see kind of the new boats, the new models, and you know the changes they've been making on them anyhow. And we are going to go to this for fun. We got Charlie here, Bonafide World Guide. Sarah's up there. Landers behind the camera. We got one more person coming right now, it looks like. And this species list is long. 20 different species. It's a fun tournament, all catch and release. You can keep them if you want as well, but mostly catch and release. And we're getting the rods rigged up now, but we caught pilchers yesterday with my brother Ricky. He's fishing, he already left. And uh, he's going to the back country, trying to focus on the red fishing snook it sounded like. And we're fishing on the shallow sports and the SCBs. So nice kickoff party last night. Lazy Days catered it and uh, you know probably had 50, 60 people in the barn there, all the tables set up, some live music, that was really cool. And, we're excited, so we're gonna go have some fun and go see if we can't catch a few fish here today. And remember, our 2022 25 foot X3 Shallow Sport is for sale. That's the same boat we're fishing on this whole event. So, we're gonna put a link below to send you to our Instagram post with all the details on it. If you guys want it, shoot us an email or a message, and it might be your next boat to have some fun on. So. Last night was a great kickoff party. All the sponsors were there. And uh, you know, it's a cool event. We're excited because we just got the barn going recently at Bud and Mary's. And you know, we're doing a few weddings, a few private parties, but this is the type of thing we're looking to do, you know, more private tournaments like this, corporate functions, you got sales meetings, team meetings, team building, all that stuff. And we're excited we're doing it. And today's gonna be a fun little day fishing here. And a lot of guys are going to the back country, but with the species list being 20 species long, Half of them live out here in the ocean. You can catch most of them back there, but snapper, grouper. You know, we won't obviously we probably won't get snook or redfish or trout out here, but we get a lot of other ones. So we're getting the jigs going here so we can't catch Spanish mackerel to start. And uh have we got a king in here too. Charlie's gonna fish with this one for now. And see if we can't get some grouper and snapper. Some nice big wintertime shrimp are showing up, so that's good. On. The yellowtail snapper. It ain't a big one, but it counts as a species. It was on the species list. We need photo evidence. So we're gonna do Southie's catch and release tournament. He's a small one, but it counts. There's no size, so one down. Here we go. Bye bye. We're on the board. No skunk. Fish on, Subi. This might be our grouper. On the next stick. Oh, a nice mangrove. Here's one for the dinner box. That is a mangrove there. That one will eat. Sadie and Claire are gonna be happy when they see that guy. We'll take him. Oof, almost bit me. Mangrove or gray snapper. We gotta get a picture of this thing. Ah, oh, new species. Yes. Is that on the list? No, nope, it's going in the dinner box. Really? Another yellowtail? Mangrove. He inhaled another yell, so we're gonna let him go. Oh, a big porgy. <laughs> another porgy. That's Claire's dinner tomorrow night. That's a porgy right there. They're very good eating. They catch last of those on Miss Alam on a party boat. Do we go moon fast? Three species here. What do we got? The old blue runner. Ooh, the blue big. bomber. Big. Oh, big thing. Oh, crab jack, get him in. Good job, another species. Oh, wait, he oh, just fell off. That is the creval jack. Creval jack, jack creval. Third species, we're gonna let him go. There's 20, we got 17 more to go. If we could get 10, I would be stoked, but at least we got three. We're gonna keep on fishing. Ah, oh, nuts. Is that the one? That was a decent fish. Yep, perfect. This could be the one. This could be 
my group that I was looking for. Doing? Oh, nice mangroves, man. Dude, nice mangs out here on the patch reefs. Sarah's hooked up too, but that's, we're letting some go. We're keeping a few for dinner. Nah, just take your time. That's a grouper out there. Lift it up, crank down. Lift it up, crank down. Ah, shark. Oh, we got him. The baby hammerhead, the bonnethead shark. Going back in. No, the mutton Oh, hot stuff, he's on the species list. We in business now. Come here, big boy. Oh, yeah. yeah we needed a got ourselves snapper. a mutton. Mutton snapper, species number four. Woo! Okay, species number four. Ooh, it's big, better than a, better than a little yellow tail. Mutton snapper. That's right. We've got four species, 16 more to go. Like I said, I'd be if we could get 10, I'd be really happy. Mutton. Mutton Maton. Maton snapper. All right, we gotta go. Too many baby mutton snappers there. So fun to catch though. If you have the family out here, you know the kids and all that. One action. You don't even need kids. You just come out here yourself and look at the fish. Keep a few for dinner. Let some go. Hi. Right, before we're trying to leave here, Charlie's catching more mutton snappers. Maton. Trolling motor to flight. Chicken biscuits. A chicken biscuit for breakfast, courtesy of Charlie. There you go, bud. Fried chicken biscuit? Fried chicken biscuit. What else you got in the bag? I got Another some one. pretzels. I got some other good stuff, too. All right, after we catch one grouper, you can eat the chicken biscuit. I really want to eat that chicken biscuit, but we need to get a grouper. Wah, 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 we need a grouper. But you never know. Could be a grouper. A grouper snapper? Ah, uh, mutton snapper. I need a we gotta try to get him not getting bit. But it is a black tip. It's great. Right. They're good fighters. Yes, if we can. We don't want to get bit now. It's a juvenile black tip shark. We don't catch too many out here, but the water's so dirty because it's been windy. Oh my god! Oh my god. The hammerhead! Oh my god! Giant hammerhead just ate him! Oh my god! That was crazy. Woo. Thank right. God my hand was in the water. I ain't catching it now. Oh my gosh. You never know what you're going to see in Amarada. Doubled up. Yes, uh, I lost mine for I was going to hit Oh, big yellow jack. Uh, Bigger yellow jack. Still fun to catch. Actually, good eating too. So, this is a yellow jack. Looks similar to like a blue runner or craval jack mix, but good eating. That's just a smaller one. We're going to let him go. It's a grouper. It's a grouper? Grouper in the boat. Put them in the boat. Put them in the boat. Don't break the rod. Yeah, red grouper. Good job. So we just let go of the juvenile red grouper. A school of yellow jacks came through. Charlie got a couple. Sarah just let one go as well. And this is like patch fishing. When we say patches, it's patch reefs. You know, it's a little coral head, small piece of reef, a mile to two, three miles offshore. And the winter time is prime time to do this. So if you ever want to do a trip like this, come down to Bud and Mary's. All the inshore guys can do it. You know, it is a little rougher today, which we're on the bigger boat, but the bay boats can do it. But a lot of days, the skiffs that are 18, 17, 18, 19 feet, they come out here and they do this on half day trips or even a full day and keep a few fish for dinner if you want. But a lot of catch and release and a lot of good action usually. So, definitely a lot of fun. I'm using a live pilcher right now. We got pilchers and shrimp going out there. And I went through, a wave came over. And, yeah, and it hit here and it was just a We have very good news. We can eat the chicken breakfast sandwich now. But I also want to talk about our fish and tackle right now. And I don't really talk about it a ton, but just using light pen spinners. You know, this is a pen spin fisher, 3,500. We got 15 pound braid on there. One of our seven foot inshore rods. We got some of the Nick sticks. Hopefully by the time this video comes out, the Nick sticks are out here and ready for purchase. We've been waiting four months for them. And they're delayed, they're late. Light tackle, fun fishing, lots of action. The hammerhead shark was really exciting to see him. He smoked that little black tip. And Sarah's hooked up right now again already behind us. Oh, nice mangrove snapper. <laughs> I was like, that one, we're keeping that one. Right. Hey, friends. Where would we be without yellow jack? We have noobed in shore. I thought there was two different grouper species you could catch. I thought it was black and red, but it just says grouper. So we only need one grouper and we already got that. He got the red grouper. So we're going to hit some of these bridges up and let's we'll see if we can't catch a snook here. And uh, he might get a mackerel too, so. It's just a little windy and rough there. We're not gonna be able to make it offshore to the wrecks or the deep reef for amberjack or kingfish, so. Oh yeah, we got our king, baby! It was worth the run! They're all looking at me crazy. Unless it calms down. So we're gonna stand here for a couple hours and see what happens. Little black grouper. 
which I believe it's just one group of species doesn't matter, but just to be safe, I'll take a picture of them too. Old Soupy with a moonfish. Oh, soupy look down. Moonfish. Soupy, show them to the camera. Exotic. Yeah, exotic. You won't believe what we just caught. The pork fish of a lifetime. Check the size of that porker out. When you go fishing and you catch one of these, you say you caught the pork, which sometimes means you caught nothing. That is a trophy there though. He's not on the list, unfortunately, but he will go down as the biggest pork fish caught on this X3. Snapper on. Not a snook. Next spot, no permit, no snook. We're gonna try to catch a bonefish maybe and then a mackerel on the bay side. We need a couple more species in on my brother Rick. Just texted me, he got a bunch of snook and reds, but it's a species tournament, so he's coming back this way to try to do that. But he's on the smaller boat, he'll, unless it calms down something, we, were, we took a few ways over the bow on this one, so the smaller ones on the patch are going to be a little tough, but. Sarah. Another species. Look how cool their eyes are. Trolling motor is deployed. Rodan down. We're oh, going to try to catch a mackerel. We're looking for Spanish That's mackerel. Like not in the so box. we set up on the flat back there. We were looking for bonefish. I don't know much about it. I don't really do too much of it, but Sarah goes with my dad some. And put him out there. She could get a puffer fish, you know, a little blowfish, some sort of smooth puffer fish, whatever it was. But uh, no bonefish, but Landon did have the drone up and we could see a big old dead iguana with his tail chopped off. And they were debating whether or not it was an alligator or a crocodile. I said it was an iguana. He's like, don't crush my dreams. But then all of a sudden with the drone up, he spotted a crocodile. There's a saltwater crocodile cruising along, a pretty decent sized one. He was up on an island over there. And it's pretty unique to see because there's not tons of them around down here, but there's a handful that live here in the Keys now, these saltwater crocodiles. So we're gonna cast around, try to catch Spanish mackerel, and see what happens. We were hoping to go offshore to the reef and Rex, but it's just a little too windy for that right now. So we'll see what happens here. So one really cool thing about this tournament is they made lobster a species for a point. It doesn't have to be a legal size, but we still gotta catch one. And we got a legal one that'd be better. But Charlie's gonna jump in real quick and see if he can't catch one. Hopefully keep it, but if not, even if he catches one, lets it go, it can still be a point. So he's gonna jump in here in some of these holes in the bottom back here and see what happens. Time to do my Aquaman thing. See if we can get him to cooperate. We only need one. One short lobster. Catches a lobster. Woo! -hoo! I bet it's cold. 76 degrees. He's gonna come That's chilly for us, 76. He's gonna do so. it in one breath. He's diving down there now, he's scoping it out. Let's see what he sees. There's a ledge. There's no lobsters here. Nothing? There's a trick. Maybe getting this to us a baby nurse shark. There's no lobster. Oh, there's a shark in it. There's definitely no Let's try this one more time. Stay with the towers and I can see a lobster. Please get a lobster, Charlie. Please catch the lobster. He got one! Yes! Don't lose him for full picture. Charlie got the lobster. He's pulling his weight now. Water One shot. undersized lobster. <laughs> I got you. You're good. <laughs> bye bye, buddy. Be free. One more point. Add it to the species list. We are catching some fresh pilchers. We kind of ran out of bait. We found some more bait, which is good, and they're bigger size actually than we had earlier. So if we could catch a couple dozen, we'd be in good shape. For some reason, they just took off. They were in the chum and they left. One pilcher, one snapper. Freshening up on some bait, fresh bait. Bait's key down here in the Florida Keys. Well, I said we weren't gonna come out here, and we did. It is three to four footers. You can see a 50 footer over there. That's right, rolling around. You got the Miss Almirada head boat, which just got back in service. They're on the reef there, anchored down fishing for snappers. But we're gonna try to catch a kingfish here on this wreck. Blue water, the Almirada sailfish tournament's going on right now too. They're picking away at them, not red hot, but a uh, few boats got them. A few boats haven't really got them yet. But we're gonna rig up, put some of those fresh pilchers out, and try to get us a kingfish and go from there. So, a little bumpy, everybody looked at me crazy, but they knew to expect it. Oh, Benita. 
Swordfish bait or stone crab bait? Not the kingfish, but they do live together. We ran a long way down here trying to catch a Spanish mackerel. Oh, oh, he's on! This could be a king or a Spanish. This could make the, make the run worth it if he gets them. Fingers crossed, the water cleaned up some. Tide's incoming, I was hoping for dirtier water, but. Oh, is that a bite, Sarah? That's a bite, right? Oh yeah, fish on, doubled up. Hell of a, heck of a run for a Spanish mackerel. We could get a Spanish and a king here, that'd be good. Oh, I got a bite too. Oh, mine got off. There's Charlie's. Oh yeah, I think it's a king. I didn't think we were gonna get him, but there you go. Swing them in. Swing them in. Spanish, Spanish mackerel. Good job. Is yours a king, Charlie? Yeah, That's oh, a bigger one, huh? Oh yeah. Let's gaff Charlie's. Tripled up, baby. They're biting now. Oh yeah, we got our king, baby. It was worth the run. They're all looking at me crazy. Yes. First two minutes, got our king mackerel and our Spanish and we're hooked up back there again. That's two more species to add to the list. We're gonna run home soon though. Everyone's tired and beat up from coming out here in the ocean, but there we go. Mostly catch and release today, but we're gonna keep a few of these fish to eat ourselves, and I know I got some people back that wanna smoke some fish, so this is going back to the guys at the marina. Nice. Get him, dog, get him. Oh, he broke him. Um, it was worth the run. Everybody was looking at me funny. I didn't know if we we're gonna catch anything because the water cleared up, but a lot of times the mackerel's like the dirtier water, but first two baits out. Charlie gets a nice king. Sarah got a Spanish. Landon throws the Nick stick out, the mini rod. He gets a nice zero mackerel, which we didn't film, but it was uh, worth the run, it was fun. So we're gonna catch some more for fun here. I don't think we're getting any more species. I don't know what we got, I think eight or nine. What we got, we got three snapper species, a grouper, a lobster, jack, king, Spanish. That's eight. So I think we've got eight species total. And uh, you know, most people fish inshore today in the backcountry because it was windy and it's rough out here. I mean, it's still two to three footers here and 15 to 20 feet of water. It was three to four when we went to that deeper wreck. We didn't get a king out there. So moved in here, but it paid off. It was worth the run. We've been dipping the bow. We're going to get this one here. Here she comes. Yeah, get tight. So that worked out. We ran down there, we put three rods out. The first one was a nice king that Charlie got. Then we got, Sarah got a Spanish mackerel. We did catch a few cereal mackerels after that, but they don't count, it's either Spanish or kings. You know? So we got two more points, which was really good for the tournament. And then the blue runner showed up in swarms. So we caught a lot of those, but we caught a few more cereal mackerels. Landon is happy because he's gonna have fish nuggies. And we got a long run back to the marina now. We've been running all over the place, but we're heading back. We're gonna go for the weigh in even though I'm not weighing fish in because my mojo was catch and release. And we're just gonna turn our pictures and our species list and see how we wind up. So hope everybody had a good time out here fishing this thing today and had some fun and we'll see you guys back there at the dock. We start off with a mango snapper and we got Corval Jack. Nice. That's a good size one. That's the biggest yeah, one we've seen today. Yellowtail snapper as well. Yum. Red grouper, but we also caught black grouper too. Yeah, I've seen a couple of grouper. Well, I was really lucky. We ran eight miles, and the first bait out we got a king, and the next bait out we got a Spanish mackerel. That's a nice Spanish too. Yeah. We got, all we got, got after that was, after, all we got after that was zero mackerel and uh, blue runners, but we got the two we needed. Yeah. So. so grouper, jack, king, lobster, mangrove mutton, Spanish, and yellow. I guess I think we had eight species. This is the weigh-in, which catch and release format as well. You know, you can let them go. We did keep a few fish to eat, but uh, whatever you want to do with them. We're gonna see the other boats caught, so. Like four or five weighed in so far. There's about 10 more to go. We'll see what happens, so. But they're up top here on the guide dock, and they got their flags going, they got their tent up here, and checking everybody in, so. We'll uh, see what the report is after uh, the next hour. Weighing ends at three, I think it's about 2.15 right now, so 45 minutes to go. And, See how we fare. Our moment on top was short-lived. They got a dozen species. They got they got a lot of good fish. So there's bonefish. They got cobia. A bunch of stuff. Got a mangrove. So we did the weigh-in. We turned in our releases. And then some of the fish we kept. Some other boats did jump us right away. And I just found out my brother beat us too. Not happy about that. Nah, he should beat us. He fishes inshore more. There was some offshore species in this, but the guys out back there that did the backcountry and the Gulf stuff. 
are in the lead, Ridge is in the lead, Ridge Murphy and their team. So we'll see where we wind up there, hopefully top three. And we're gonna wash all the rods down, wash the boat down, and then we'll see you at the dinner tonight. <laughs> Welcome back to the barn at Bud and Mary's. It's time for the awards ceremony and the dinner with Shallow Sport in their first ever tournament down here. We're excited. I know we didn't win, but hopefully we finished in the top few. We're gonna see how we did, but they did a big shrimp boil. They've been cooking all afternoon. I brought a sandwich too, because I heard it's gonna be spicy. They got it set up in here, it looks really nice. They got a bunch of tables, they got all their giveaways, all the trophies, the big blow up engine over there. It's gonna be a fun time. So we're gonna show you around in there and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, in third place, they need no introduction. Team Stanzik, Nick Stanzik, Sarah Stanzik, and Randy Bowers. Stanzix, obviously, been so gracious in providing this amazing venue. Round of applause for them. Yes, thank you again to them for having us in this great venue. Okay, in second place, with 10 Yeah, third species. place, we're happy. Congratulations. And they were fishing with Rick Stanzik, of all Nick's brother. So congratulations to them. It's a sore subject. And for your first place winners, with 11 species, from South Texas, Chad, Randy, Ridge, Erica, and Daryl. Longtime pro staff, South Texas. Woo! Hard to beat right here, guys. This team wins them all. Thank you guys for participating. First place winners. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you guys so much for participating. Hope you guys had an awesome time. So that was a fun day fishing there with the Shallow Sport team. And there was 15 teams that came down for the tournament, the event. You know, it's really just a fun way to get together with different shallow sport boat owners and come down here to the Keys and you know, have a good weekend. Good dinners, good party, good food, and some good fishing too. And if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. Like 75 or 80% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed and we'd really appreciate it if you did because it would help the algorithm out and help the channel out greatly. So, And remember our year-end sale is going on on the website at stansfishing.com. You can save 20% right now on all of our apparel, all of our merchandise, whether it's stuff for the kids, the ladies, the men, and we've got hats, shorts, pants, and a bunch of stuff on there. So go check it out on stansfishing.com. Come on down here to Bud and Mary's. Come down here, go fishing, check it out, and hopefully see you down here one day soon.